So yes people, welcome back to another video here on the JNM Football Channel. So the time is um it's, it's, it's So the time is half seven. I've basically just got out of bed, just made myself a coffee, just gonna have a banana here, then I'm just gonna go through some um emails, stuff like that, and then basically just get into my like normal day routine. I'm gonna be going to the gym later. Um I'll be doing training session in the evening, I'm not sure if it'll be individual with Nathan, we'll have to wait and see. And yes, yeah, so it's just basically a normal day in off season. So yeah, today's just going to be a typical day in off season. I've got about ten days left till I fly out to a new country for my pro trial, so I'm just preparing for that. So yeah, anyway, basically, welcome to the video. I hope you enjoy it. Just get straight into it. So before I'm going to have breakfast or anything, well, my main breakfast, I just had banana. Like, I'm going away next week to Croatia for like five days. So I want to make all the content for Instagram before I go. So that means I have to make like 25, 30 Instagram posts. So I just try to look for ideas and like, just like ideas just to make good quality content, but make it all beforehand. Because like a lot of the time I make content like that day and then it, it comes like I get an idea from the book I've just read or the game from last night or something like that, I get a lot of ideas from the things I experienced the day before or that day when I make the post. So yeah, I'm trying to make like 20 posts now beforehand. So this will be quite fun, it'll take me a while. So I'll get started with this and then I will get, and then I'll have some breakfast and then, I don't know, I'll be here. I'll be going to the gym in the afternoon and I'll be training in the evening. So I've got basically the whole morning to work, which is quite good because I'm gonna need it because I need to make posts, client work, all that stuff, so it's gonna be a fun morning. So it's now later on in the day. Um, it is about, what's the time, about five, about five-ish. I'm just about to go off um, and do an individual session. Like I've tried to wait as long as I can because it's really hot, so I don't wanna train like, in the really um, hot weather. But I don't, don't wanna miss the England game either later on in the evening. So I'm gonna go and train out an individual session. I didn't even go to gym today because my body's feeling a bit tired, so and I've, I've only got like 10 days until my trials. So I don't want to be stupid like injure myself, so I didn't go to gym, so I'm just going to focus on my individual session now. Um, I have to go and get fuel, and that is it. So yeah, let's go and get this session done. So today's session, it's just an individual session, just me on my own. Um, I'm just going to do a good warm up, really open up my hips, all that stuff. Then I'm going to do some band work, then I'll get into some ball work. I'm probably just going to do some like simple passing and I want to I wanna, like um, work on my like low driven passes on both feet. So I'll do that, might do a few sprints at the end and that's about it basically. It should be a decent session, it's still quite hot though, I mean like it's still hot. Even if you come out in the morning or at night, it's still so warm. But oh well, it is what it is. So yeah, let's just get into the session.
So we've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram how we set this up, this band. So basically we just wrap it around the post and then we get two bands and we wrap it here. So it's tied to that and then we just and then we make a circle, wrap it like around our waist. run into a box dribble and then I have to pass it into the small goal so I put this small goal in the big goal here facing down so it has to be a flat pass it can't be like bobbling stuff that's why I didn't put it in the middle because it would just bob, uh, bobble over but then at the start I have to so basically the box is here I have to sprint shuttle backwards shuttle and then I dribble with, with the ball in like an X pattern and then I finish with the like the firm fin, uh, low pass Basic, but it's a blower, trust me. Like, I'm off like the second, third rep, you're absolutely blowing out your ass. And, like, it's so hard to control the pass because you're just knackered. <laughs> It's still like a firm low pass in that small goal, but now I'm just gonna like dribble past a defender so I do like a match realistic movement and then finish off with the low driven pass. It can be in foot driven, whatever, just so it goes in the goal basically. <laughs> But anyway, like, about these like basic drills that I'm doing, like they might seem really easy and simple, but doing them at a match speed consistently like is tough because it just tires you out and you have to keep on doing it consistently, consistently. When you're doing these like individual sessions and you can only do basic stuff like passing, dribbling, stuff like that. It's up to you to do it like at full match intensity. Because if you don't do a full match intensity, then the training's not worth anything because you like in a game, obviously you have to do 100% full match intensity, match speed. So when you're training on your own, doing these simple, like doing a simple move against the cone and pass into a target, you have to do it full 100% intensity and focus just like, so it's a match, match example, match situation. So then when you go into the match, you know what you have to do and how you have to do it. So that's one tip like these individual sessions when you're, when you're doing like these kind of like boring basic drills. Right, so I'm gonna finish the session off with like this simple fitness sprinting drill. It's with and without a ball. It's quite hard to like explain like I do a dribble with the ball, sprint without the ball, dribble with the ball, sprint without the ball, and then the distances get longer and longer. But you'll see anyway because I'm gonna do it now. So I'm sweating my eyes, man. I'm so sweaty. It's hot, man. So hot. <laughs>
Who saw a Jack Greenish's volley on like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever? I'm gonna try and remake it or redo it right now. Let's go. Not bad, not bad. First one wasn't bad, was it? First one wasn't bad. Oh. One hit top in. One hit top in. Ah! Guys, okay, that is the session for today. I'm absolutely soaked in sweat. I'm pretty tired, but my legs are quite heavy. So I'm just gonna get all the cones together, take all the equipment down, stretch a little bit, do a cool down go home. Right, let's finish the session on the top bins. Take two. There you go, boys. Overall, good session. I'm feeling quite fit, good to go. Feeling quite like strong, powerful, fast, so that's good. Obviously, I've been training with Nathan because he's obviously come back from injury. I've been off-season, so that's been decent. So I haven't really had to do much individual sessions, which are kind of like killers, but it's been it's been all right. I've got like, I think about nine, 10 days left until I go to a, the country where I'm going to trial. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Obviously on Monday, I'm traveling to Cro um, Croatia, be there for five days, train there a bit. And then obviously on the 28th, I'm going to this new country. So yeah, it should be good. Keep on training until then. Not too hard, but just keep a good level. Don't injure myself, don't do anything stupid. But yeah, now I'm just gonna stretch a bit, do a cool down and drive home, smash a cold shower, I'm thinking, cold shower.